first trimester was horrible. I never had hormone based boost swings ever be suddenly felt water in my eyes. Oh, you broke. You broke. I stress myself to accept help. Before I start to complain, I always think, wait, you cannot complain. I learned that. different um, compared to my current ongoing pregnancy right now I'm around 21 weeks pregnant and also I just wanted to tell you guys that my plan was to film like from the day when I found out that I was pregnant I found out around four or five weeks <laughs> very early and I planned to make every week an update on how I'm feeling, like very short. But I found some of them, I will also insert some of those clips in this video. But I just wanted to tell you that in the end, I didn't manage to do that up to week 13 or 12. I think until week 12, 13, the first trimester goes because I was just very busy and I felt like I'm complaining just the whole time <laughs> so I was like no better just stop making these videos but I still have some some footage I have still <laughs> last pregnancy I did a belly shot every week I didn't do that for this pregnancy because I was like I don't want to have one more thing to think about every week so I'm, I was thinking no I'm not going to do that also because Yes, I mean it's a good memory, but I'm not looking at it that many times again, maybe in a few years, but um, I still have one, so, and I mean, the belly always looks the same. <laughs> Let's start with talking about the first trimester. In my last vlog, I mentioned that the first trimester was horrible, so a lot of you guys commented on it and uh, said like, they experienced the same thing with the second pregnancy. I didn't throw up and I had any I didn't have any nausea nausea <laughs> because like I don't know why <laughs> but it's uh, just the same as my previous pregnancy. I don't know why. I also did some research and they said like yeah I'm happy that I didn't have it but they said like maybe 20% of women they don't have they don't experience any nausea or any throwing up. So thankfully I didn't have any of those in my second pregnancy as well but the thing is that I felt very 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 tired exactly the same again as my first pregnancy so actually there is not a lot of big differences between my first and my second one the main difference is that I don't have the time to rest and I mean also in my previous vlog, I read your comments and I see that people are saying you should take time, you should take a rest and I do as much as I can but there are some things that are just need, needed to be done so I try to take care of myself as good as possible In my first pregnancy, I didn't have a baby to take care of or a toddler <laughs> so whenever I was tired, I was actually able to sleep uh, I'm not a person who sleeps during the day, mainly because I cannot fall asleep but I was able to sleep in as long as I wanted and this I cannot do because these days Fanta wakes up at 6, 5, 6 then maybe she falls asleep again when I'm lucky I can fall asleep again as well but there is still this break in between my sleep that I can really feel that it was making a big difference on how I feel during the day. I feel like the tiredness went away after the first trimester, maybe around week 15. So I'm still exhausted when it comes because 
uh, I don't have enough sleep but it's not because of the pregnancy it's mainly because I'm just busy at the moment but I it's a different type of tiredness I can feel this tiredness I can still handle it but the first trimester tiredness I was like I cannot handle it plus there was like a big mood swings that I had and I never had hormone based mood swings ever before <laughs> also, I never had some type of PMS so during my periods um, I never had any mood swings or I never felt that my hormones are that strong or that I live by my cycle I never had that feeling and also the same thing with my first pregnancy I think my whole mood swings went into the positive way of being excited about the baby and now it's not that I'm not excited anymore I'm very very happy <laughs> about my second pregnancy it's just that there were so many things that came all of a sudden that made me feel desperate in some kind of way the, the thing that I knew that we need to move very quickly it gave me a lot of stress because it was always in the back head of my mind but I was thinking with only one child it's okay to still live in Seoul and to still live in a small apartment because we don't really need a lot of space with only one child and everything is manageable but then with the second child we're still having a small child to take care of a lot of things changed so my mood became very let's say I'm the kind of person who doesn't like to talk about my feelings a lot so also if I'm not in a good mood I always try not to show it to other people also because I don't like to talk about my mood as well even though later I feel like if I talk with someone about it I feel better but also on the other side I get many suggestions that I already know so I'm like okay that didn't really help me I just talked about it and we talked a whole hour only about me and now I just know that I should do I should dress I should do other things that I already knew and I still not gonna do anyway <laughs> also another thing that I really experienced for the very first time was that it was very easy for me to start crying whenever something was not working or whenever Fanta started to become a little bit cranky I was I, I suddenly felt water in my eyes with the simplest things like for example when Fanta threw something on the floor and it broke and I'm like no you broke you broke the cream I mean it's not something that is important it's not something valuable it's just like the bottle of the cream that broke and I'm like oh no why did you do this and that's why I feel it's a very good thing that she's going to daycare so that at least the time that I'm very tired I can relax so that when I pick her up I'm all <laughs> my mood is again good so that I don't have to put my bad mood on her which I feel very improved ever since she started going to daycare alone because as you guys know we had the getting used to the care for one month so that whole month was even more busier for me because it was a schedule that i always had to go somewhere and i couldn't do stuff at home and i really like being in a clean and tidy and organized house so there are things that give me a lot of stress and on organization not having a plan not being in a clean environment gives me even more stress the fact that i had to be at the daycare with her gave me that stress because all the stuff that wasn't in order in our home was like this and i came back home to a very unorganized house after that since we were about to move a lot of things were like okay I don't need to do that right now because we're gonna move anyway so there's no reason in making like a big spring cleanup or stuff like this except from that 
there are things that I stressed about myself for always and that I learned not to stress about anymore one thing was I'm my lifestyle in the last let's say two three years was that I was very concerned about what I'm eating mainly I was concerned about eating very healthy and a lot of fresh stuff I really don't want to use many processed foods so I always buy vegetables and if I buy meat I don't buy processed I always buy fresh meat uncooked meat so that all the ingredients that I use I know I put them inside this takes a lot of time <laughs> and this time now at the moment I don't have and at the beginning I was very stressed about that part and I learned not to stress about that so much anymore so I'm not saying that I don't care about healthy eating anymore but I, ha I have that mindset more that I'm if one day I cannot eat my salad because I just don't have the time to prepare it or I just don't have the time to eat it the same goes for I was I had a very strict routine when it came to my workout and yoga and like just self-care and I'm also not saying that self-care is not important for me anymore it is but I've my type of self-care became something that like a schedule on my calendar and that became a stress as well so I when I don't feel like workout or I don't feel like making yoga then I just don't do it it's not that I have the stress I need to do it now and these are the things that I've learned now it is important to take care about what you eat during pregnancy even more I read a lot of things when like you know those apps where you can track your week by week progress of the pregnancy so there's always a new article every day and every second article comes you should keep track of your weight during pregnancy you should even eat even more healthy during pregnancy it's crucial to get all your nutrients during pregnancy and I'm a person who's very very concerned about the, these things but at the moment it's just too much next month I will have my guest gastral diabetes test <laughs> I will write down <laughs> the correct spelling and pronunciation <laughs> because I'm, I'm in, in German you say Schwangerschaftstil with this test Fortunately, last week, last pregnancy, I didn't have it, but I'm very concerned if I would have it this time around. But let's see, because my most important thing is that I'm mentally okay, but still I managed to be healthy for my baby, because that's my my main goal, of course, and of course of every other woman as well. Another point that I was, would like to talk about is the surprise effect that was when I found out that I was pregnant and maybe in the pregnancy reveal video you can see that I was like first when I thought I wasn't pregnant I was kind of happy also that's a thing that I was a little bit concerned about should I post this or should I not post this because I was thinking if my baby will grow up and see this video is it a good thing to see that i was like this pregnancy wasn't planned or is it not good but then after talking with my husband about this i was like you know it's okay because now we are super happy about it and of course the beginning was a shock and the beginning the the first few weeks when i knew that i was pregnant i was in a very very low Whenever I'm about to complain about something, uh, before I start to complain, I always think, wait, you cannot complain because there are other people who have even worse things happening. So that's one part why I don't really like to talk about my feelings to other people. Also, there was one period where I started to feel lonely I mean you guys know from my blogs that a lot of time I'm very like I'm alone even though I'm a person who 
really likes to be alone <laughs> most of the times more and more I can feel like I have I need my family and I feel like I just need someone to talk about my feelings but then on the other side I have like there's something always that blocks me because I feel like I cannot complain because it's I being being far away from family at a period like this when you're very vulnerable and I think pregnancy is a is is a part in life where a woman is very vulnerable uh, I don't feel that strong and I don't feel like I can do everything by myself and also this is a time where I I learned that being close to family is something important and so this is also somehow the only like not the only time but it's a time where I feel more um, that if you live in a country where you don't have any family around you and um, much harder because sometimes you just want to talk with someone who knows you 100% and who knows also all the other parts of your life because you can talk about certain things yes with your friends as well but your friends they don't know everything about you and um, they don't know you since you were a child or a kid and everything so this um, there is always a big difference to who you talk about sometimes it's even better to talk about your some kind of problems with people that don't know you really because then they see you in a very like on a white paper and they just focus on the problem and not on everything around but on other times it's also good to have someone who knows everything about your past as well uh, but on the other side I feel like I, I cannot talk I cannot complain because this situation of me living in a total different country in a total different culture it's something that I chose by myself so I have the feeling I need to be strong and show that I can do everything I think that I really learned compared to my previous pregnancy is to accept help much more and this is also a thing that I will accept much more once the baby arrives when Fanta was born also during the pregnancy fortunately while I was pregnant with Fanta I never had any complications and I had a lot of energy I was able to do everything <laughs> so I didn't feel that vulnerable so I was kind of also angry when people try to tell me oh you should dress you're pregnant or you should take it easy you're pregnant I was like no I'm doing fine I can do everything and uh, that was also a thing that I thought I can do when Fanta was born and I was able to do it but i have now thinking back and what I would do different once then this baby comes is that I will definitely accept help I will definitely say thank you yes thank you um, you know yeah just accept help from other people from family from friends uh, because um, I want to show that I'm a strong woman I want to be a role model yeah I just didn't know uh, the word didn't come I want to be a role model but sometimes I just want to show that even the greatest role models <laughs> um, struggle and so yeah that's that's the takeaway that I want to give <laughs> in this video the thing that gives me the most joy in my life is that I if I work hard I know that period of hard work is a is, is big pain but thankfully I can see good results I can see that somehow the universe is giving me back and that's why yeah I can say I'm happy and also 
last week's vlog there were many comments about i have to take care more care of about myself and this stuff i'm thankful that you take that you are so concerned about my well-being and also these comments also help me to know that i can just rest and it's okay to rest but um yeah no but just thank you <laughs> i think i talked about everything um if you have any questions or if you're curious about anything else you can always set it in the comments and i will try to answer those during my future vlogs there are a lot of very exciting vlogs to come they're gonna be a very a lot of many a lot a lot of exciting things coming not only the moving and the home interior plot but there will be also other things that we're going to do which i'm very looking forward to share with you guys yes i'm sorry that i don't like to talk about bad feelings bad experiences in my vlog because i feel like i want to entertain you guys but on the other side i feel like also it's good for some people also to see that not everything is always perfect in life i mean also if some people they want to show always everything perfect we can know that those people of course they will have also some hard periods in their um in their life but i think sometimes it's also good to hear about it <laughs> i i don't know how to say um i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> now it's, it's kind of strange to say it my channel is a channel that documents my life and also my family the all the things that we experience in life so i think it's also good to document this as well i think that was it for today's video and i will see you in the next one again with some more bright light <laughs> and good things like not everything is, is bad <laughs> and so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one so hi guys I just finished doing my workout and I just wanted to tune in for a second hi Fanta say hi to the camera I just wanted to tune in and uh, tell you about how this very very early pregnancy is going I'm exactly on week five today is Valentine's Day so I wrote down Fanta come here I wrote down my symptoms until now and I must say they are not that big symptoms so Basically, two days before testing, I remember being very emotional. So, but I thought it's just like premenstrual symptoms. So, um, but I don't really have strong premenstrual symptoms, and I'm not a very moody person. So I, I think it was just because I was really tired and difficult with Fanta her not sleeping her always needing more and more attention and everything doing by myself um, so that's why I was pretty emotional and um, two days before I did the test then on February 8th I had very small bleeding like some spotting in the morning so actually I thought it's gonna be my menstruation and the funny thing is that I was so much sure about that that I even uploaded on my story like ah uh, because I, I was really feeling that I need something sweet and you know so I ordered some cookies uh, from the delivery and um, I posted on the story that yes <laughs> cheat day is only allowed not only but is allowed during your period also like during my period it's like a rule that i do for myself i'm not doing this rule generally but for me any day of the week if it's your period then cheat days are allowed there was nothing else until the next day in the evening and then i was like hmm, should we take a test i was two days over my period and yes and you saw right before like in my testing 
video um, pregnancy reveal reaction video <laughs> um, that yeah that it was positive and yeah the next day on February 10th I had very very light implantation cramps but very light so I think it was yeah as if you need to go to the toilet like stuff like this so yeah and uh, on February 11th I had very very strong headache it was the first day where I decided to start to drink less coffee again and because I really like drinking coffee and I didn't drink coffee at all while I was pregnant uh, with Fanta so I decided to leave it out I just drank green tea but then my headache was so strong that I said no for this pregnancy that was it uh, today is February 14th so a whole weekend passed and I didn't have any more symptoms also no nausea at all no more sensitive smell nothing so let's say let's see how it will go on and yeah I will keep you updated <laughs> Welcome back to another week. I'm in week. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I'm in week six now, seventh week. Yesterday should have been exactly seventh week, but I was in no condition <laughs> to film because I was very very sleepy the whole day. Every time Fanta took a nap, I was top and I was <laughs> sleeping with her and. That's actually how I have been feeling the last week, ever since I filmed the last time. Apart from that, I don't have any other pregnancy symptoms. Also, last time I was very, very tired. I was sleeping a lot and I could sleep a lot and rest a lot because I didn't have a baby at that time. And I was also in quarantine because I remember we just arrived back from Italy, from our honeymoon in Italy when um, when I was seven, seven weeks pregnant. Two days ago, I had my first doctor's appointment. Everything is good. She confirmed the pregnancy, and but it's not sure yet the exact date, uh, like birth date, estimated birth date of the baby because it's still too small. <laughs> but yeah like this week there's not big of an update just that i'm super sleepy uh, very hungry i don't manage to only eat once a day anymore <laughs> i don't know if it's more just because i know i'm pregnant and then i know actually i need to eat and that's why i'm not able to hold it or because i really need to eat more i don't know but i try to eat more healthy um, of course I always been eating healthy but these days uh, it's been very hard for me yesterday was impossible I didn't want to go out because I was so sleepy so I ordered like one yeah. one cake and two cookies <laughs> for delivery so yeah I really um, need to get back to it because I don't want to last Time, I did the mistake that I gained already too much during the first three months of pregnancy whereas I did the research and they said there's no need to gain any weight um, in the first three months um, because I already gained I think three or four kilos in the first three uh, months so I really hope that I will not gain weight so I need to be more careful on that <laughs> but it's difficult because yeah I don't have a lot of time to cook for myself good food because of Fanta I don't have a lot of time to sleep enough because of Fanta but no let's say there could be worse <laughs> so that's it back to another weekly update of my first trimester all my emotional like my emotions are getting even stronger but that has also to be with the fact that what is happening <laughs> lately it's been a lot so maybe that's why also instead of being strong 
like I usually am and just thinking by myself like yes I actually can do it I mean I was able to do stuff that I'm doing now before uh, without any problem or without getting <laughs> all emotional crying and stuff and thinking I cannot do this I need help and stuff like this so yeah uh, you already know from my past vlogs that um, my husband is in hospital at the moment so we're just about to go and, and visit him and yeah stuff like this for example where I'm trying to put on her clothes and it's almost impossible I get very desperate and on certain days I even start crying while uh, putting on her clothes because it's just a impossible task but I know that all these emotions are connected to the fact that I'm pregnant and that my hormones are changing and so physically except from the from the fact that I'm tired <laughs> I'm doing good but emotionally yeah I'm not doing good <sighs> I don't like that part but yeah it's part of pregnancy there are other parts that are very beautiful about being pregnant so yeah we'll just have to keep going and yeah in the end uh, we will be gifted with the best gift that there is in the world so let's get through these hard times and also Fanta will get a very very nice person to play with right okay let's go <laughs>